What's poppin' all stars? Welcome back to my channel. It's Damn She Jamaican, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, it's gonna be super lit because I'm talking about Pluto in the first house. Gang gang. So this video is super fun, super interesting because I myself is a Pluto rising. Now, whew, I'm just going to be rambling, but it's going to be great information, all right? All right. So, Pluto in the first house. This placement is a very intense placement. Now, because I have Pluto in the first house, I am going to be giving you a very raw and authentic description of this placement. All right. So, Pluto in the first house. Pluto sits on your ascendant. Pluto conjunct your ascendant, right? So this makes you very intense when people meet you. This makes you very like sexy. And um, when you walk into a room, it's kind of like people just sense your energy. And they're very, um, you come off as very mysterious, right? Because Pluto is a planet of like death, transformation, things that's hidden deep, deep, deep deep below the surface um also it rules all esoteric knowledge so if you have pluto in the first house you are a person your ascendant is what you the mask you put on into the world so when you first when people first meet you they either like you different words they either love you or they hate you now Let's start when you walk into a room. When you walk into a room, people sense your presence. You just have a very strong presence. You know how when some people walk into a room, it's like, you know, they don't really notice you. It's like hit or miss, like, oh, you know, that person's just here with you. It's kind of like, who's that person? You know, like, what are they about? So with Pluto on your ascendant, it makes you a very, very interesting person. It makes you mysterious like you look like you're hiding something and it's not that you're hiding anything which you probably are as we get later on in this video but Pluto in the first house people are very deep people they go through very deep transformations in their life so with me having a Pluto rising sometimes it's like I, I give off this very intense and sexual aura. Um, Pluto is like the higher octave of Mars. So everything Mars is, that's Pluto times 10. So with Pluto on your ascendant, you're a person that's very sexy, um, very mysterious. Um, you have a very deep and intense gaze. And sometimes you probably have like a resting bitch face. Now this placement, put you through a lot of shit like you go through a lot of stuff your personality changes pluto pretty much your ascendant is pretty much like the blueprint of your entire life it's like the map you know like the entire energy that you're going to carry out into the world so having a pluto ascendant you most likely go through a lot of intense and dramatic situations and these intense things and things that you have to go through is what's gonna change you now with Pluto being on your ascendant like I said it's the mask you wear so when people first meet you it's kind of like of um a lot of celebrities have this placement so it's like not a lot but you know what I'm saying like it's a celebrity kind of placement or just a placement that um, makes you want to that makes you seem powerful Pluto also signifies power so this placement can make you deal with a lot of power and control issues like you might manifest situations in your life where people try to control you or where you control people now with Pluto being on your ascendant, it's a very, very, very intense placement. It's a, it's um, it's not easy. Um, I know for me personally, like I go through the depths of the world. Like I visit Hades, quote unquote, right? Mythology. Meaning, 
I personally go through a lot of deep shit. I see a lot of like occult things in my life. Like I go through a lot of deep transformations, even just like physically, like I might change my hair a lot or I might just change my overall appearance a lot. People with Pluto in the first house are people that um, are very good when it comes to understanding the psyche. They're very psychic people. So these people are very attuned with the energies that are going on in the world. And it just makes you kind of like super aware of everything that's going on around you. Um, with Pluto being in the first house, I just want to say if you are going through like issues of depression and you feel like you're here for a much greater purpose and you keep going through like bad situations, bad situations, these situations that you go through and the depression you're in is only there to help you to evolve. Um, Pluto is a very slow moving planet so you may be going through a lot of internal changes like it's not so apparent on the outside that you're definitely like you're literally transforming your entire being with Pluto here it's like <sighs> Pluto wants you to change things right it wants you to be an influence and having this placement makes you someone that deals with a lot of chaos that not normal people would deal with Pluto here really takes you to the depth of the world so you personally experience a lot of death and rebirth in your life you know you experience knowing the negative side of life and you literally seep into it and so with that you understand things on a very deep 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 level and it just makes you use that information and that pain to transform into something better i know personally for me all the shit that i go through i that's terrible that I would consider terrible and majority of the world would consider terrible I use all of that and I transform it into positivity because I have Sagittarius I'm a Sag rising so a lot of destructive things and traumatic situations that I've gone through has only helped me to become stronger um, Pluto in the first house people deal with a lot of issues regarding like sexuality and identifying themselves and understand and like going through issues in their life where their sexuality is like something that they don't even understand um because pluto here kind of gives you like a blind spot with your sexuality and just your power um so you can be like i said when you walk into a room people could think you're very sexual you know, people would naturally just see the intensity with it in your eyes, the gaze that you have, and people naturally sexualize you. And that's just the power that Pluto carries. It's up to you if you have this placement on whether or not you want to use that power for good or bad. And with Pluto being in the first house, you're going to experience your whole personality sometimes being good or bad. Like sometimes you may do things that are seen negative, very negative in society. And it's up to you if you want to stay in that or transform it into something different. Pluto in the first house people are powerful, very powerful people. You have a, um, a strength that not a lot of people have because of the depth and the darkness that you seep in and so your personality changes often the way you appear in the world changes often because you go through these moments and these depressed these de these depressive states and that's there just to show you life on a different level so Pluto in the first house is a gift and a curse because no one 
if they could choose they don't want to be put into situations which are negative but having this placement just makes you someone that wants to seep out either being powerful or being a loner so in times you it pluto is either an extreme or not so extreme so i know for me there's po points in my life where i just want to hide and i just want to not be seen i just want to retreat into being me and just study the world by myself and not really get out there and experience it. and it's because i feel like you know people don't really get me you know they don't really get the things that I go through and they can't really sympathize or empathize with me so having this placement you're gonna go through a lot of shit but it's gonna help you to become a powerful person um, I was reading this article and this is me regurgitating information but it's information that resonates it's and like I said it's like you either you either seclude yourself or you go out into the world and you try and dominate other people. Whatever influence that Pluto wants you to do, if it's positive and negative at the same time, you have to learn how to balance that. Like for me personally, like I've been put here to help change societal norms, right? Having this Pluto rising. So like I speak out a lot about like religion and how toxic it is and all that shit and a lot of people have unsubscribed from my channel because of it you know they they feel like negative towards it and it's not it's not a bad thing you know it's weird because it's like to some people that may seem like a bad thing to talk about religion in a negative way like oh fuck religion fuck Christianity but to me that's very positive because when you're here with a Pluto rising, you really get to see the depth of everything. You get to see what's really going on beneath the surface. You get to really lift the veil of life here on planet Earth. And with all the knowledge and information that you know, you're literally here to change the world with that. And so if you have this placement and you feel like you don't fit in or you feel like you know too much it's for a purpose all the knowledge you gain it's for a purpose you know it's 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 to help you and it's to help other people i know for me personally having this having pluto on my ascent it has attracted a lot of um sexual trauma into my life i've made a video about being sex trafficked you know um being a stripper and all these things it's like I use my sex appeal to get ahead in life and it's because I know I have that power right on my ascendant the thing with having Pluto on your ascendant it makes you a person that can change your look very often you know, I know when I do my hair, my makeup and all that, like I literally transform into someone new and people would say, wow, you look completely different. And it's because Pluto is a mask you wear, it's your personality. So sometimes your whole entire personality will change. But since Pluto is a very slow moving planet, it takes a while. So like if you have this placement and you're very depressed um, and you experience like bouts of depression, that depression is there for you to understand life on a very deep level that other people would never get the chance to do. But with that and these negative emotions, you can turn that into something positive and it will take a while. So if you have this placement and you go through a lot of shit like and you're like, fuck, what am I ever going to get out of this? Just understand that it's better said than done what I'm about to say, but you have the power to change your state of being whenever you want and that's the gift about having Pluto in the first house like if I just want to get up right now and just be super happy and resonate in that frequency I can and then there's times when I just choose to just chill and just be depressed and feel negative emotions and seep into it now Pluto in the first house 
it's very intense and, and, and this placement is not you're not born with this placement if you're a weak soul this means that you have experienced many different lifetimes you know what i'm saying like you've experienced life on a very deep level in other lifetimes and so when you come here you pretty much just resonate with it all in one being so pluto in the first house you're gonna be intense you know you're gonna intimidate people you're gonna speak out you know you're gonna be forceful very direct and this is not a bad thing it's not a lot of people don't even have the courage to speak up and say what they really want and you do you know you you see other people for who they are and understand that you can make any kind of life for yourself if you choose or if you choose not to Pluto conjunct the ascendant allows you to indulge in negativity and seep into it like you may pick up quote unquote bad habits smoking drinking having a lot of sex doing all these things and you know it could be very destructive but displacement is not given to people that can't handle that but what the the thing about this placement is understanding what you do with that you know what what you do with all this knowledge that you've acquired how do you help people and from my perspective having this placement it's going to change you many times in your life you know you're it's going to change you it's going to make you someone that can see people for who they are and it's gonna make you very into astrology, the metaphysics, you know, it's gonna be a placement where you know too much. And since you know so much, it makes you like intense. And that's where this mysteriousness comes from. That's why people feel like you're sneaky or shit like that or they can't really read you it's because you don't sometimes with this placement like you can choose how you appear into the world like you can choose one day to dress up look super sexy and be seen be known and you know and and give off that sense of like i'm the shit you know i'm i'm powerful even if you don't consciously know that's what you're doing or Pluto is extreme, you know, so or you can be a person that cannot be seen, literally, like you can choose, like sometimes some people won't even know you're there. And it's weird, it's because like and I've experienced it, that people would be like, Oh, I didn't even know you were there. If I choose personally that I don't want to be seen and I don't want people to know I'm there, like I can choose that based upon the the very aura or of like what I'm emanating so Pluto here like it deals with a lot of control issues like you're gonna manifest people in your life that try to control you and it's gonna make you you're not gonna like that I'm telling you right now you're not gonna like being controlled like if you have controlling parents that try to dominate your life or like say like religious parents or whatever you're going to be that kid to rebel or to just do something different and this and don't beat yourself up about it is literally you're here to show people something and to have an influence and have a voice so with this ascending i just want to let you guys know like you're going to go through a lot of changes physically but also it's more so like internally because of all the deep shit deep dark stuff that you go through all the knowledge esoteric knowledge that you know it's just here to help you to be a better person so don't beat yourself up about appearing differently or um not not being able to fit in just understand that you're literally a phoenix rising from the ashes. You're going to go through shit. You're going to be depressed. You're going to go through all that. You're going to 
gain weight just to lose it. Like you're gonna you're gonna transform. This placement makes you feel like you have a purpose in life, like you're here for a specific reason. And I'm telling you, this placement's not given to the lighthearted. And that's why I say a lot of influential people have this placement. It's because you can do whatever you want with this placement. You can be whoever you want to be. You just have to understand that. You have to understand that you can control how people see you or not. You know, like... Put on the first house, your physical body might be built strong, you know, because the ascendant deals with just how you look on the outside, kind of, and, you know, how you appear. So, like I say, you, you will intimidate people or you can choose to not intimidate people. You, with this placement, you control the vibe in the room. You control how people react and respond to you. It deals with a lot of control like a lot of people may just fear you you know you may have done something where people just feel uneasy around you you may have it you will always experience extreme reactions people either love you or they hate you and that's why I wanted to make this video because being on here and being a youtuber being someone that puts my life on here I deal with a lot, you know, I deal with people that dislike my video, comment negative things, and there's people that misunderstand me, you know, they don't get me because they're not as evolved. And that's the thing with Pluto in the first house, you're a very evolved soul. So a lot of humans on the planet aren't going to understand where you're coming from, so they'll just hate you. They'll, they'll be jealous, you know, you'll experience people in your life that try to take advantage of you. And then all these situations are just building up for you to understand your own personal power. You're a very powerful person if you have Pluto in the first house. Your personality, how people see you, it has a great impact on this planet. And you just need to take ownership of that. And whatever you want to do in order to change the world or to change yourself, just know that it's going to take time and nothing happens overnight but you're here to learn a lot experiencing trauma or experiencing people close to you that you feel like do you wrong it's just here for you to understand how to go about life and how to just read people off the back and know where to place people you know so pluto in the first house i'm gonna sum it up it's very intense you're very deep you you get life like you you get it you know and it's not a bad thing you know you're chosen but understand what you want to do with your power you know use it for good sometimes having this placement it's easy to manipulate people like it's easy to get people to do whatever you want sometimes it may be to your benefit most times if you're trying to manipulate people it's good to your benefit but Sometimes it's not, you know, sometimes you could just be using your power for bad and that's the thing, like you've had like world leaders that's used their power for bad, but being consciously aware that you have Pluto in the first house, just use your power for good and don't try and manipulate people unless you have to but yeah just understand that you're you're powerful and not a not a lot of people can just be that person to be like yo like get the fuck out of my face or just be you know like not even that but if people call you a bitch or say that you're rude or whatever be you and don't apologize for being you all the thoughts that you have in your mind about the things that you want to do in life do it you know what i'm saying understand that you're an individual and understand that you're here to create change you know be be a rebel and 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 understand that that's your destiny all right like i said if i have more information i'll insert it but 
that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching i love having my pluto in the first house because i have a lot of control on how i want people to see me and you know even even if it's just changing your look or getting a lot of tattoos or whatever just expressing yourself like that's you and don't apologize for that and be different and love being different all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you have pluto in the first house go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch my many transformations in life and you can see what i have to bring to this world if you have more information that i left out of the video which i know i probably did because astrology is a very broad topic and i'm rambling go ahead and comment that down below so everybody else that's trying to know this placement can get a lot more information all right cool i'll see you in the next video comment like subscribe share and all that and yeah Mwah. peace i'm the one that makes it rain better at saying on my name damn she jamaican on her way to fame if i say it, i mean it, bitch i ain't playing no games you said you talking shit but you don't add my name i pull up on you real pretty you can feel ashamed bounce back game bounce kurt coat bangs i ran and brought it back what happened to your quarterback gang loyal fan base got the place jumping up oh shit there go my song on the radio Turn it up for the nigga, cause he need to know I got his ass tuned into the stereo yeah.